Ask not what we all be can do for you. Ask what you can do for we all be. to the Honorable Judge Luis Lindsay, who was just sworn in on December 29th, 2011, as the first woman judge of Tunica County. Uh, it was a definitely a historic moment. Mayor A.C. Warden was the headliner uh, as far as speech making, but really uh, the people spoke loud and clear when they, this election cycle, elected a historic uh, majority African-American uh, Election cycle. So, without further ado, Sister Judge, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Yes. Well, sir. it's an honor to have you on. The Honorable Judge Louise Lindsay. How does that sound? Thank you so much. I certainly appreciate it, and um, I'm grateful. And I, I am, you know, with uh, deep honor and, and gratitude uh, for this uh, awesome experience. Well, it was like it was basically like four years. Uh, it was delayed. You know, I say good things come to those <laughs> who wait, but I mean, it was four years. You know, it got delayed, or I guess it was deferred, as some people would say. How does it feel out there, you know, for, for, from four years ago? Cause I know you uh, talked to us about what happened with the voting irregularities. Um, you know, um, I, I can say, you know, uh, with the help of the Lord, um, uh, he has allowed us to be here at this point. So I'm very thankful to God. And um, and I also want to say, you know, the people, uh, the people uh, in the community, along with myself, we have worked, uh, you know, and dedicated ourselves to, to this effort, and I tell you, I give thanks to them as well because they were committed, just as well as I was committed to, to winning this election. So it's a great feeling because, and it's not my celebration, but it's a celebration for the people in Tunica County. So you talk about the people of Tunica County, and I know that y'all had an awesome grassroots effort from the people. The people spoke loud and clear. 
when they selected you, and not just elected, but selected you for this uh, important uh, position. And I want to know what was the lessons learned from the last time out, you know, because, you know, the well, election was close last time. Well, I think the lesson learned was uh, in, in uh, fairness and integrity must be uh, in the front line of everything we do. And, and the people, uh, they deserve it. Uh, they have fought long before I came on uh, on the scene for equality and fairness in the judicial system as well as in the election process. And so uh, people took note, and, and they wanted to make certain that their votes were counted. And, uh, and, and that's exactly what happened um, in this election in 2011. Now, you are the first woman judge uh, elected in Tunica County, right? Yes, I am. And you're also, I mean, you're the first black woman judge as well. Yes. So, I mean, did you start it on this path to become a pioneer? I mean, how does it feel to be a pioneer? Well, um, you know, uh, t- technically, I, 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 it, it's always been my uh, desire to work in the uh, judicial system uh, coming up from a teenager and uh, through my different careers uh, from military to law enforcement. Uh, it has led me to this point, and the opportunity was there, and so I pursued it. And you was also, like you said, uh, you spoke of your law enforcement background. You were a sheriff deputy, correct? Uh, yes, I started out uh, as a police officer first uh, for the town of Tunica. Uh, in 2000, I was elected, well, correction, I elected. I was uh, uh, hired as the first uh, African-American female police officer for the town of Tunica. And uh, after seven and a half years there, I, I ran for uh, the election for uh, Justice Court Judge in 2007. And uh, I didn't succeed in that election, and later on I was hired on um, with the uh, Tunica County Sheriff Department in uh, September 2009. And I continued on in, as a deputy, and then I was promoted as an investigator later on in 2010 uh, for the Tunica County Sheriff Department. Oh, that's amazing. So you actually was the first female hired by the uh, Tunica Police Department at first, right? Yes, sir, from the, from the time of Tunica. From the time of Tunica. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, by the end of, the, by the end of your career, I guess they're going to have a statue erected in your honor or something. <laughs> I mean, you do all these first. Well, I, mean, you... well I, 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 I am humble to say I am thankful to God that he has allowed doors to open, and, and I can't say anything without uh, including uh, God in, in my life and in my testimony because if it had not been for him, uh, I don't know where I would have been, but he has made the way, and he has allowed favor uh, to come also. So I'm grateful. And uh, I don't know what my path would just lead me on to, so whatever opportunities there are, you know, I just take advantage of it and continue on. I mean, do you have do you have some ideas? Like, you know, what is your uh, capacity as judge? Like, what is your level? What's the official title? What do I do now? Uh, mm-hmm. I, I am the uh, Justice Court Judge of Tunica County for the Southern District, and uh, basically what I do, I handle uh, misdemeanor cases, uh, all felony cases I will uh, bind over to the grand jury, I, uh, review domestic violence, DUIs, tra- traffic violations, and also civil matters. And do you have any goals in terms of disposition? Like, what are your aims? Uh, my aim is also uh, to uh, institute or uh, some programs or bring some programs to uh, Tunica County. Uh, one of them I am looking at uh, is uh, a second chance program uh, for uh, uh, offenders and um, also work uh, heavily with our domestic violence uh, area and uh, promote uh, awareness in our DUI. Okay, wow. So, I mean, I mean, well, I mean it's, a high, it's a high traffic volume area with uh, because we have the casino industry here, and we want to make certain that our um, streets remain safe, you know, uh, for the public as well as the community. Uh, people come traveling, you know, to and fro through Tunica County, and so we want to continue to make it a safe environment for them as well. And so uh, DUI is a, uh, yeah, sometimes it's a very hairy case here in Tunica County, so we want to work with that area and, and also uh, work with some uh, youth programs, uh, uh, try and save our youth uh, before they become an adult. 
so that they don't have to come over into that court system. So we want to work on programs to save our youth as well. So uh, there's a lot that can be done, and uh, whatever uh, I can do to be an instrument in uh, helping the growth of Tinker County, uh, that's what I certainly want to do and be fair in the process. Hey, yeah, I mean, I just think it's an incredible company. I just look at the uh, you all that have taken your oaths yesterday. I mean, <laughs> from you to also the the, the young 27-year-old school superintendent, uh, yes. Mr. McKinley. Uh, what's his name, McKinley? Uh, Steve Chandler. Steve Chandler, okay. So looking at that, I mean, y'all like really like, you know, it's like, you know, it's kind of like that afterglow from the Obama election coming to fruition, but at the same time, when I talked to people around the state, I also heard that there were a lot of voting irregularities, similar to the ones you experienced back in 2007. So for y'all to be elected in this type of way and probably, probably one of the most influential counties in all the state because of the casinos and whatnot, uh, how do you tell people, how do you, how can you convince folks that people think, hey, you know, they elected some black faces, but, you know, they're not going to really be running anything. You know, it might be a perception of maybe they just, you know, wild decorations. Well, I, I don't look at uh, uh, the new elected official as wall decorated, right, decoration. I'm sorry. Um, I just think this is a season, and, and um, God's allowed us the opportunity to serve, uh, and that's what we will do. I, I can't uh, make any promises for anybody, uh, but in the process, we must be fair, and, and we have to go by the law and everything we do. And we must understand as Mayor A.C. Warden said, that whatever we do, you know, we have to be honest because God is watching us and he's going to hold us accountable. So I think we just have to do the work uh, that is set before us and, and, and do it to the best of our ability and people will see. Uh, there, there, there are some challenges that we are facing, uh, but it's not that we can't uh, uh, succeed. So we just got to stick together, uh, keep God first, and uh, we'll be all right. I just think you're a credible person. I mean, you're a genuine person, like a really authentic person to me. You don't call out, you don't come out as a person that's, you know, uh, sedity, as some people say, sedity acting or, or, no. or arrogant. Uh, you really are very humble, and I think in your humbleness is, it lies your greatness. And I just look at the fact that here you are, a trailblazer, blazing this path, uh, destination really unknown. Sky's definitely the limit, you know, and, um, I can't imagine things you have to endure in this process. I mean, I look at, you know, racism and sexism. But it's like you're not really deterred by a lot of obstacles that would normally stop other folks. And that's why I find inspiration in your story and who you are as a person. So, like, you know, what we tell young people, especially, like, young black women and black men, about how to succeed? Well, you know, uh, success uh, doesn't come overnight. Of course, we know that. Uh, uh, the first and foremost, and you, you hear me say this often because uh, this is my testimony, uh, that God has to be first. We, you have to ask him for his direction, his guidance. And when you acknowledge God, uh, he will show you which way to go. Now, that's not to say that you won't have uh, obstacles or challenges, uh, but as long as you have God first and, 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 and you consult him, uh, he'll direct you to the path. And he'll put people in your lives that will be there to support uh, the effort that you're trying to achieve. And, and I must say that uh, 2007, uh, the election I was uh, running, um, it didn't turn out the way uh, I wanted to, but, you know, it was okay because now the big picture, it was never about Lindsay. It was, it was about uh, God preparing a way for other individuals to come. And not only that, uh, the election process was looked at very carefully this year, which enabled uh, the election to move uh, smoother, and it was done fair. And so um, I would tell any young lady or young man, for that reason, regardless of their color or their race or ethnic, is to just, if you have that dream, that's your goal, uh, pursue it. So put God first and continue on. Surround yourself around those uh, who will, will be a positive influence in your life and who supports uh, your efforts. And uh, it'll be okay. Just be yourself and uh, just do it. I got actually just because you spoke, spoke about, you pointed a little bit about it, it, regardless of race, 
And I was like, I was amazed to see the number of people that was there, but majority of them were African American. And like, you had a small, you know, white minority that was there. Yep. But I mean, I, you know, I mean, how do you look at Tunica County? Is it still divided? Like, you know, the tale of two Americas, so to speak. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's not just Tunica County. It's everywhere you go. Um, racism exists, and, and uh, but you have to look beyond that. You've got to. Uh, find solutions uh, to reach everyone. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I believe in diversity. Uh, I believe in opportunity uh, for everyone, not just for the African American, uh, but it's for all those who want to achieve. So uh, I, I think, uh, yes, it was phenomenal to see uh, African Americans and white to come together and unite. And believe it or not, uh, there are people here, or I should say this community, do want to unite together as one. Uh, but how do you bridge that gap? And so uh, we're trying now to work on that, uh, that uh, we can uh, become one community here in Tennessee County. Mm-hmm. I guess it just take a, a team effort. And, you know, we're living in an age right now of very divisive politics coming out of the, out of the capital, Washington, yeah. D.C., and you see it all the time getting played out in the media and in your neighborhoods and local town hall meetings. And, you know, I just think it takes a team effort, like a house that's out against itself cannot stand, like Lincoln said so many generations ago. But, like, you know, I'm just amazed, like, when people say, well, when they come critical of the voting process, when they become cynical of the process, to see, like, you know, what happened in Tunica County, to witness that historical event, you know, that's wearing in a lot so many African-American men and women, uh, when our people are seem like they're getting disenfranchised everywhere we go. Uh, like, you know, can you come I in? Mean, like, you know, I heard a friend of mine from Cleveland, Mississippi, she was talking about how some of the people were very disappointed with the young people in terms of their not understanding the value of voting because they talked about the voter ID controversy and whatnot and how a lot of young African-American people voted for that. Right. Well, no, I, I think, the issue. Okay. Uh, what, the 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 difference in this election process in 2011 versus 2007 was that um, the community uh, really came together. Uh, uh, the uh, pastors of the churches, uh, uh, everybody came together because they were tired of, of what was going on. So they they wanted to see some positive growth here. And so uh, we, we designed a plan, and what we had to do in that process was to teach uh, the community about the election process, how it really works. Mm-hmm. Because believe it or not, a lot of people don't know uh, how uh, how the election works, how the utilize the, the voting machines. A lot of people are afraid of it because it's a computer. So mm-hmm. we had to uh, people had to go. You know, we had to have training set up. And we had to encourage our communities to get out to, to support uh, our, our candidates and um, and teach about the, the laws also uh, mm-hmm. for the uh, the voting process. So education uh, in in this effort it really paid off in teaching uh, uh, the community uh, what it, does it really mean to get out and cast your vote? How important your vote is? And one vote it really means a lot. Mm-hmm. It really does. it makes a difference. So everybody's vote is very important. Whether uh, you choose for this candidate or the other, your vote is so important. So that's what we were encouraged to, to get out and vote. It's so important that you do this. You can make the difference. And, uh, and in the process, uh, we train, uh, uh, educate uh, the community about the voting process and also the laws. And so when the election came around in August, uh, people were aware of what to look for, you know, if there was anything um, that was uh, out of the, uh, the the election process law. Mm-hmm. So it was all about training and knowing uh, what what the law represents as far as voting, and also let people know this is your right that was fought for uh, not just in, in the 2000, but for years and years ago. Uh, we've come, you know, through slavery, but but what got given us the opportunity to make. Uh, our lives and, and uh, much more better, but we've got to take initiative to do that. The resources are there, so we have to learn how to use what is around us. 
And so that's what that that's how the success came uh within Tennessee County in this in this uh, election process this year because people came together and they wanted to know how can we make a change in our community and in in doing so we we educated people about the voting process and we encouraged people to let them know that your vote is so important. Yeah, that's great. I also want to know like a lot of your thoughts about I know it's like a lot of people there, but the lack of a of a media presence. Like this, it's like this story. This, this is like a great story to end 2011 with, but it's like you didn't get no any type of national media traction. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? Do you have any thoughts? Well, um, I, I can't answer uh, as to why uh, media was not there. Uh, I don't know who was coordinating that effort, um, but I'm just happy to see that if nobody knows the people in Tinica County have certainly seen uh, how we have overcome together as a community. And uh, I, I wish that media uh, was there, too, and maybe it could have encouraged uh, or maybe it would have been used as encouraged to other uh, state or, or cities uh, about the election process and, and, and what happens when people unite together as one. Uh, mm-hmm. But for those who didn't make it, I am so grateful that they, that they were there, and thank you for coming. And I certainly appreciate that. And and even this opportunity, you you allowed me to even uh, have this conversation with you. Um, but I just want you to know that Tunica County, uh, we have some challenging moments ahead of us, uh, but we'll we'll make it. And so uh, we just want to be an example to other counties and communities that uh, when you unite as one, uh, progress will take place. And it's going to take place regardless, but it, it's really good when we can come together. I definitely agree with you there. I mean, it, it was an honor to be there. I was very really happy, and I was excited. I was, I was like a cheerleader. I was a groupie or something. But this <laughs> is Judge, Judge Lansing. It was nice. <laughs> it was, I, think I'm, I think I'm still basking in um, the event. Um, I couldn't sleep the night before because I was so excited, mm-hmm. uh, not, just, not just because I was going to be sworn in, but just to be a part uh, of this, 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 uh, the celebration for yesterday, and and to be among the other candidates and the community members and the leaders, and to meet all those who did come in from near and far places to be with us, it was just exciting. And uh, so, uh, it's, and it was in a historical uh, moment for all of us. And so, I just want to let you all know that the work that was done, it was, you know, it was fascinating. And so, I, I appreciate those who have labor before us so that we could see this day, and I'm grateful for them. I mean, yeah, I mean, your faith played a whole role. I mean, cause I know a lot of people who had, you know, experienced the, the you didn't even lose in 2007. They just took it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you lost. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's different if right. you actually lost. But, they, but to be, like, so, de- I mean, a lot of people have been so demoralized and so, like, cynical and bitter about the whole thing would never try it again. But the fact that you did try again, and not only succeeded, but like the South, I mean, the, what you became a part of. Well, let, is so let, me, historic. let me let me be honest with you. I, no, um, I, I was disappointed. I was disappointed, and uh, I was hurt because I had uh, have given it, given it my all mm-hmm. uh, to, for the election two thousand seven, and um, and I, it, you know, I, forgiveness. You know, it, it was something that I really asked God to work on me because I, you know, I was a little. A little upset and 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 I just didn't understand. I said, Lord, why is this to me? Uh, but now I see clearly that sometimes in life you just have got to go through some things. It's like you know making the pavement uh, for uh, uh, growth and prosperity. So God used me as a challenge, as, as a channel, I should say, uh, for this for this day and for not just me, but for others to come. And so I'm grateful, but before I, I can see it like that, I was really right. upset. And mm-hmm. so it took some time. I asked God to to clear my heart, you know, so that I can be effective when I go back out in the community to work and and to campaign or whatever I need to do. Uh, because it's never been about Lindsay. It's it's been about uh, being used as a vessel uh, to bring God glory and and to um, to also see others. Uh, come forth in this community. So this is the first time, I mean, it, like I said, it has ever happened that we have 
uh, pretty much all African American uh, uh, board. We do, mm-hmm. and uh, so I'm excited. Uh, so it's nothing that I've done. I was used process to, to uh, help get us to, here to this point, uh, but I'm just, I'm happy for everybody else. And I don't know about you. I know you, yeah, you mean you did have support. I mean, you, uh, I know family is very important to you, and you have, you, have, you got a young son, a teenage son now. Uh, well, how do you feel? I mean, how did he, did he? How did he encourage you? How did he help you get through that tough time? My son, uh, uh, my son is thirteen, and um, we, we've been. Uh, this is his second uh, campaign tour uh, with me, and um, so we worked together. We designed a, a plan of how we we're going to go out and prospect um, and uh, campaign. And he was there with me the whole time. And so he's excited because uh, he's, I mean, it's history. Right. And so he says, Mom, well, I want to be, I want to make history one day. And I want to do something. So uh, he has his goals in mind. Um, he wants to come back and uh, from college one day and open up a um, a, um, a a doctor a clinic. He wants, you know, he wants to be a heart doctor, so a cardiologist. So I said, that's mm-hmm. great. He said, I want to come back home. Uh, so I can be the first. I said, well, if that's what you want to do, sweet, you can do it. And so he's been encouragement to me, inspiration. Um, he's he's seen my down days. Uh, he's seen me when I cried. He's seen me very exhausted. And he's seen me when I've been jubilant. So uh, at this point, it's just a great celebration uh, for him as well because I couldn't have made it without him. Uh, encouraging me and holding my hand as well as my, my family. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's definitely a blessing, a blessing and testimony. Uh, I thought I just—I know you're a motorcycle enthusiast, or you was a motorcycle enthusiast. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, I was. I haven't been on one. I haven't been on one since uh, 2007. Um, but I do. I just, you know, I really just love working in the community, and, and uh, I do like to ride uh, motorcycles. I haven't been on one uh, lately uh, because of my my. My job was so demanding; I didn't have the time. But uh, I think I'll probably, you know, get back to doing something like that. So, That's good. All right. All right. Um, I just like uh, having fun, getting out there in the community. Um, I, you know, I, I still have my life to live, so uh, I still I know that uh, I'm elected as a judge. I'm a judge now, but um, on a personal note, I still want to enjoy life as it goes. I'm glad to hear that. I know your son also will be successful, no doubt, because greatness runs in the blood. I guess I mean he's got birthright. He seems to be great <laughs> so and much. excel. And, you know, I guess our lives. But also, I mean, speaking of your personal life and you being a public servant, I know that's a balancing act. I mean, how hard is it to walk that type of Because people, you know, they tend to scrutinize public public figures, especially oh. ones who are involved in you know the legal or political process. Well, yeah, it, it is. It is, uh, I mean, my life becomes uh, the community's life, the public's life, and, of course, uh, I will be watched uh, and, uh, to see if, if I will uphold the values that, that I've uh, spoken of. And, uh, but I, I don't, I don't uh, focus on that because regardless of what position you're serving or if you're serving any position, I just think you need to do right at all times. I'm not saying we're perfect, but we strive for perfection. And uh, uh, you just have to, you know, keep your life, uh, uh, your personal life intact uh, at all times, regardless of what you do as, as, as far as your career is concerned. And uh, I, like I said, I just let God uh, lead me and I just continue. I don't, I don't worry about what people say or what they're going to, you know, I just follow God. And uh, we'll be okay. I don't have different words to live by. I just want to thank you once again for your continued service of, you know, being and being excellent, not health definitely, but be committed all the way to what you're doing. And you're just excelling, and you are just going above and beyond so many people's expectations. I, you know, you never cease to amaze me. You are just definitely like a, it's a force of nature that cannot be thank stopped, you, so you know, you know, just extraordinary, beyond category. And I just look forward to hearing more great things about you. I told somebody yesterday you might be on Supreme Court, whether it be Mississippi <laughs> or the nation Supreme Court. I wouldn't be surprised. Probably Was the first it? motorcycle riding Supreme Court <laughs> in the history. 
<laughs> you never you never know you never know what the future holds for us. Uh you just live day by day and do your best, uh different. And uh, you know, you do good, good to come back to you. That's that's my philosophy. And and you you know, we're not perfect beings, but we strive for perfection and uh it'll be okay. I always keep God first and we'll we'll be all right. And I want to say thank you so much for um uh allow me to uh, communicate with you uh, on this note and uh, if there's anything you know I can do um please don't hesitate to call me and uh, uh certainly I'm just thankful that you thought enough to uh come down and be with us uh yesterday it really made made a difference well I Memphis Memphis was there I got to say Memphis was there uh, uh, state representative uh Joe Towns was there mm-hmm. uh, some photographers photographers was there uh, uh, I, I'm just, I'm just excited. So, and uh, I got to take uh, my hats off to Mayor A.C. Ward, and he did an outstanding job. Mm-hmm. Uh, and those words I will live by. And so, congratulations to Memphis for being uh, with us. And as Mayor Ward said, uh, we're just neighbors. So, right, exactly. It's on a neighborly <laughs> love and neighborly support. <laughs> So I know Sister uh, Judge Louise Lindsay is an honor. Once again, the Honorable Judge Louise Lindsay of Tunica County. It is definitely a pleasure to know you, and I was definitely honored uh, to be in your in your cheerleading section. And Thank I look forward so to much. publicizing this historic, you know, achievement among our listeners and supporters, and also beyond our spirit of influence. So, and the Labor is a great good girl, and we love you badly, and we'll definitely be in touch. Happy Thank New Year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.